dirty wheels, all four of them. Extremely dirty. And now it's time for a cold start. <laughs> Had to take care of some stuff now man i'm running out of gas let's find a gas station it's so hard to find a shell gas station in my area that's the only gas i used to use now there's no more shells gas station there's no more shell guys <laughs> they're all gone so the only thing we have around here is 7-Eleven and freaking Circle K some crap ass gas but trying to find a marathon that's probably the only one I well that's the only one I've been using now but actually there's one right up there I mean, it's nice to see gas $3.99 again. I mean, not the greatest, but better than freaking $5.99 how it was before. Let's pump some gas. And again, look at that steering wheel. This is probably one of the best thing I've done to this car. That steering wheel. Sheesh. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel for another video i hope you guys are doing great and <laughs> i can't even remember the last time i post i posted a video maybe like three months ago almost four months ago well there's there's been a lot of things go, going on with me with work and i'm trying to finish school to, to get my degree and then plus the hurricane happened and it was just it's just been hell but it could be worse and the only and another thing is I'm gonna be honest I just don't feel like doing anything to this car anymore I think the last thing I will do is if lately I've been thinking maybe I should just set it you guys remember I bought the LSD the OS Kiken Gaiken um, LSD, so I have to insult that one. But the only shop I I find I found one shop who could install it. It's in Orlando, and I would have a drive there. And they said the car has to be there for at least two days, and it's like, <laughs> and, and I really don't have time to go over there and drop the car for three days. It's a three-hour drive, and I don't have another. I mean, I. We have two cars now. We, you guys know that I have the GX460 as well, but it's mostly my wife. It's my wife's car, so she drive it. And I recently sold the Honda about two months ago. I think that I thought I would get another Honda. I wanted a manual Honda, a six-speed or five-speed manual Honda, but not new cars like an old car, maybe 2006 to 20. 12 model year 
SI or LX with six speed, but at the same time, the price are horrible. I'm not gonna give or pay 10 to 15K for a car, for a, like a 13, 14 year old car with 170,000 miles on it just because it has a, it has a six speed. No, that's not gonna happen, so I'm just have to wait and just kind of wait to get that later and the car that i really want to get you guys know maybe some of you guys don't is the supra and and the supra they're doing markups in them and and i don't want to pay markups and there's a specific color that i know i want is the yellow supra I'm not going to settle down for any color because that happened to me with this car. I, I remember when I was um, buying this car, I was looking for the ultrasonic blue. I couldn't find it, so I got the black one. And I, I like the black one at first. Now I'm like, black cars are a little bit boring when it comes to cosmetic modifications, like, like carbon. <laughs> hybrid size curves or um, spoiler like on a black car like that like like that spoiler right here they just you just can't see it unless you get close to it i guess the car is black i mean it looks nice but i'm kind of get i'm kind of over black cars and stuff like that i'm more like a yellow car or maybe orange or something like like that now I made a video in the past um, saying that if I saw this car the super will not replace this car I don't know I, I will still have this car but if I have to replace this car it's kind of be like a another Lexus because I want to stay with Lexus as well maybe an ISF but at the same time the ISF that I want is 2011 to 14 with low mileage and they're going between 45 to 50 grand and there's no way in hell i would pay I, I, I would pay that money for a used car i might as well get an rcf and the rcf that i really want is the 20 20 and up with that front pumper refresh um and those are going for a lot more money so i might as well just wait so that's where we are now i did say that i like i said i made a video in the past and i would get the is 500 but after i watched the videos in the is 500 eh, I, i'm not buying the his car it's just the car seems just slow it just seems i know, i know it's an old engine but it's just the transmission is not i mean it's the same eight speed from all Lexus, but the tuning is different. Like the, I thought that they would um, give the A speed a better tuning. But after I watched all those videos with IS five hundred, it seems like all they did was they they took off the the IS three fifty engine, they took it out and then stretched the front a little bit, put the V eight in there. I feel like that's all they did, and you know, I. After I watched all those reviews and the videos and stuff, I I was like, that car is not for me because I'm to a point that where now I need something fun, something I can tune, and turbo car, turbocharged cars is where it's at. And if it, honestly, if I can't get the super, I might just get a M240i X Drive because I wanna get. Um, to, a, um, to, 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 to the point where I can actually do stuff with the car or a car that have more aftermarket scope. Like, like for Lexus, they don't really, the aftermarket isn't that good. So it's like, I feel like it, it, if I get another Lexus, doesn't matter if it's a six cylinder or a V8, which I would not get another six cylinder because I wouldn't have an IS250 but I feel like if I get another Lexus like a right now like a IS500 or RCF I feel like it's gonna be the same boring marks I've been doing 
a wheel, exhaust, intake, and you're done because there's nothing else you can do. Now that doesn't mean that I will leave Lexus. I still we still have that GX460, which I'm trying to make more videos on it. But when if I'm working and my wife is working, it's kind of hard to get the car for the day since we don't have three cars anymore. I sold I sold the I sold the Honda. I thought. I would just replace it right away with a six-piece because I want to start driving main you know, car just to get used to it because it's fun. But for the price, they're asking for like old car with with like a lot of mileage and them. It just doesn't make sense to get one right now. So yeah, that's where I'm at. It's just, it's been... It's almost four months the last time I made a video, so I just wanted to post that one and to tell you guys what's going on. Now, there's a shop I found here in my area. I um, send them an email, so I'm just waiting for them to respond. If, if they can install the LSD and this car I'll take it to them because it's right here in my town but or else I'm gonna have to drive to Orlando if I still feel like install it here because it's it's a lot of work well I'm not going to do it but it's gonna cost me money just to, to pay them to drive with this which is doesn't matter but at the same time it's like um, if I'm planning on selling a car maybe in March from now or a year, this this super will be here by then. Then what's the point of um, spending the money and install it? But at the same time, if I already have it, I might might as well just install it to see how it makes a car feel. All right, guys, this is it, and I hope you guys. Have a good day, good night, and I'm still have I'm like I said with the whole storm thing that happened, Hurricane Ian. So there's a, a lot of stuff I have to fix around my house and, and all that. So it's just been busy time. So yeah, I hope you guys um, have a good day, good night, take care, and I will see you guys on the next one. And the next video, um planning to make some videos on the GX4 XT. So, take care. I will see you guys on the next one. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.